Do you want more? More time, more balance, more love, more sex, more money, more real, and less bullshit? This is the Women Wanting More podcast with Dr. Karen Osborne. Real life, real stories, plus real tips to get you more of what you want. So sister, check this out. Fuck your hope. Fuck your hope. Hope. Now, the way that I see most of you, and I hear most of you use the word hope, is kind of like this. I hope that happens. Hopefully, one day soon, I hope. You know, I think back to a Tony Robbins. This is dating me because, yes, I did the tape sets of Tony Robbins in the early, mid-90s, and then the DVDs. Or C- no, it wasn't even DVDs, pardon me, CDs, CD set. And I still remember one where we were talking about that word hope, and it's really stuck with me. But listen, I'm bringing this up because I see so many of you that post and write stuff and comment and talk about the hope. And I'm here to tell you that you need to fuck that hope. Hope the way that it's being used when I see it most is like this. Again, I hope it happens, hopefully it does. It denotes any kind of responsibility or, or control on your part. It's kind of like saying like, ah, maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't. I hope it does. It's like the dude that I saw the other day at Starbucks scratching lottery tickets, going, holy shit, is that your investment plan? That's a really bad plan, dude. Hope I win. Hope this happens. I hope you have a good weekend. It takes away your ownership in your life. And it's funny, you know, it's one of those things that people just end up saying where it's, it's lost any kind of meaning. Like it's just, people just say it. It's like there's, you know, those, those uh, you know, st- stupid phrases like everything happens for a reason. Or um, it's kind of the first one that's coming to mind right now. But just, yeah, it doesn't even really mean anything anymore. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. You have responsibility over your life. This isn't about hoping and wishing and praying and meditating on. It's making shit happen. Do you understand this? Like, I know you use the word hope at times to, you know, again, it feels like it's out of your control. I hope it happens. That's fucked. It's broken. When you really understand that the actions, the words, your thoughts, that all these things move you, can move you towards the things you really want in your life, when you get some clarity on what that truly is, you get clarity on why you really want that to happen. You commit to actually to taking action on this. You don't hope. You don't pray about it. You don't do any of that stuff. You make it fucking happen. You make it fucking happen. There's no hope in action, there's just simply action. There's no hope in results. There's you doing whatever it takes to actually get those results. There's no hoping that things turn out a certain way. It's you doing it. Now listen, I'm gonna take a a side step for a moment and acknowledge that there are absolutely things that are gonna come up in life that you had no idea were coming your way. There are going to be obstacles that come up that you can maybe anticipate, maybe not, and it'll just like take you for a loop, right? How does this show up in people's lives? Um, Spouse shows up with divorce papers that you didn't see coming. You, you know, my husband, Ed, when he was diagnosed with Crohn's, I mean, this is, was not something that was on our radar. He didn't fit the profile. He didn't, you know, it, it didn't make any sense to us. We didn't see it coming. We didn't see it coming. I didn't expect it. When we went through a bankruptcy back in 05 and had one of our lenders and we were behind one of our student loans, suddenly say, hey, you know what? I'm going to call that loan. So you need to pay the, I think it was like a hundred grand or we're going to sue you. And we're like, fuck, we don't have that right now. We can't, can't pay you. Okay, then it's, then it's bankruptcy. So this is going to be things that come up for you in your life that you don't expect that it's going to go that way. So let's just be clear on that. But the thing is, is that regardless of the shit that comes up, it is up to you of how you actually respond to that. Your ability to adapt to things that come up in life, what people say, what people do, again, the stuff where you go, oh my God, I didn't see this stuff coming. Your ability to be able to adapt to these situations is crucial, crucial. 
Because listen, everybody can be like, you know, just going right along, doing all the things they need to do when everything's great. But when shit hits the fan, that's when the true colors will really come out. That's when we'll really see if you're capable of having more within your life. And it's not about hoping or wishing. And, you know, those of you that are spiritual might take this the wrong way, but it's not about praying. It's about actually taking action on the things that you want within your life. It's not about hope. Hope is for those that don't want to take responsibility. Don't be that sister. Don't be that sister. So here's your more tip for today. For the next 24 hours, do not use the word hope at all. Now, I know there's some better ways to use the word hope, right? When it says that someone has hope for a situation, right? Like they see a positive outlook, like they, they trust in that process. They, they uh, you know, again, yeah, they just, they really trust what's going on. They're like, man, this person has hope that things will get better. Like they can see different possibility than the path that's been laid out to them or others have told them about or where they see themselves heading. They have hope. That's a slight difference. But for the sake of simplicity, you are not allowed to use the word hope or hopefully or any other portion of the word hope for the next 24 hours. And I bet you, you're going to find yourself having to bite your tongue. And I have a pretty good idea that you're going to notice that you use that word a lot. Hope you have a good time. Hope you have a good weekend. Hopefully you all to get this done. Do not use the word hope for the next 24 hours. And then here's the next part of this. I want you to journal about that experience. Journal about that experience. What came up for you? What was true for you? Because again, you can be in an experience and have insight and be like, oh my God, I use that word a lot. Shit. And that's cool. Or you can actually take action from that. Like it goes beyond the insight. You're not just content with that but you actually take action. So this is the third part of this. So not using the word hope or hopefully any, any other version of that for the next 24 hours. The second piece of that is to journal about that experience and really see what came up for you by doing this. And the third part of that is what action you can choose to take as a result of that experience. I tell you for me, like the word hope, psh, hopefully it's out the window. It's not a word that I use. It's not powerful. I don't hope... I choose. I don't hopefully things will happen. No, I, I, I'll do what it takes to make things happen. So that is your more tip for today. And listen, like this kind of depth, these kinds of questions, I'm actually bringing up in the, my new private Facebook group, which is called The Woman Wanting More Experience. So if you want to be added, two ways to do that, either show notes, Jesus, this is what happens on a holiday Monday here in Canada. We used to walk around our neighborhood. We live near the beach now. Right across the street, actually, from a beautiful beach and park. And there's a lot of action going on on a holiday Monday. So, hence a lot of the background noise. So, to be able to get into the Woman Wanting More experience, it is a free, private Facebook group for women that want more within their life. There's actually 400 members in there now within, oh gosh, less than two weeks. Less than two weeks. Like, it just exploded. Then I want you to two things. Either... The link that you're going to see, or if you're, pardon me, two things. If you're actually reading this from there or listening to this, this episode from the show notes, you're going to see the link in the show notes. You can also push or just tap on the little I if you're listening from your phone, which this is where most of you do listen to the podcast from. And it's going to bring up the show notes and you'll see the clickable link to request to be added to the group because it is a closed Facebook group. Or you can simply email me, drkaren at drkarenosram.com and say, hey, Karen, heard about the new Facebook group. Can you, can you please give me the link and you can request to be added that way. So I will talk to the next episode, sister. A life of more is just one step away from you doing the fucking work every single day. I love and appreciate you. To get the show notes of each Women Wanting More episode, including the how to get more tip, subscribe to the newsletter at drkarenosburn.com newsletter.